You may think your stags are special and your bucks real beauties, but for many hunters in continental Europe, the gold standard of deer stalking is Hungary. Its warm, rich, broadleafed and coniferous forests grow stags and bucks of great size, which head out into the European equivalent of the Serengeti. It is a country set up for hunting with high seats all over rural areas and plenty of nice places to stay within easy reach of deer. Hungary itself is in easy reach of the Czech Republic, home to the ever-cosmic Michaela. It all starts in a train. Well, I'm sitting in a train in a Prague station and I'm heading to Hungary for some hunt. Um, it should be a red stag, maybe something else, I don't know. I'm going to meet the guy from huntropfy.com which is a new website for hunters. It should be like a social site for hunters. And I'm going to hunt with them. I should be using a blazer rifle and we'll see now. Michaela gets to Budapest in the dark and transfers to a car for the last leg of the journey. But I heard the Hungarian hunting in a free range the red stags are awesome and the big, big trophies. Michaela spots a roebuck moving into the maize crop. So exciting! It's worth having a walk around with the night vision to see what else is out there. Even the night sounds a little African. I just arrived and this house. is a welcome drink with my new friends and <laughs> hope you will be lucky tomorrow. We will go to the uh, sitting the high chair, and okay. uh, we we wait the uh, sun the up, and uh, uh, after go to the walking this uh, over first uh, first place uh, forest. The following morning, and the estate reveals itself as magnificent. The hunt starts with zeroing the Blaza R8 and checking that Michaela can shoot straight. Michaela and her stalker head out to the forests. They set up first in a high seat. Michaela is hunting here thanks to hunttrophy.com. Based in Hungary, it is a new global social network that allows hunters from around the world to share knowledge and information. You can upload photos and hunting stories to your own page, like Facebook. The website supports the work of hunting organisations around the world and its aim is to put every huntable game species on display with their habitat and zoological description. Usually on my Facebook page or Instagram you can meet the green people and tree huggers who write their opinions uh, below your posts and they can be you know, cruel and disgusting. And this uh, website try avoid this. So I back at the high seat, and a stag comes into view, but it doesn't stay for long. Well, after sitting in this high seat, we decide to walk a little bit and maybe see some more deer. I'm a little bit more optimistic because we've seen some stag. It was a younger guy, so we didn't shoot, but it's good. We see. It's a short walk and you can make your Michaela's got the horn jokes now. Then they spot her stag. Well, I just shot a red stag. Um, it happened so fast. We were on the way back and then my guide and me, we just saw him, how he's standing there and just watching. So I take a rifle and sit down and make a shot. After giving it a chance to stop, Michaela and her stalker start to look for the animal. A drop of blood shows the direction the beast has gone. I'm following the blood tracks and like 20-30 meters from where we shot the red stag, he's lying, just follow me to see him. 
Wow. Well, yeah. This is it. This is what we was about for. It was pretty tough hunt and I was losing my mind this morning and I was thinking okay, I'm going home without the red steak and now I'm here and my red steak is here and I'm really happy. It's been a stunning trip, a beautiful country and a wonderful trophy hunt. For more on Michaela go to michaelkushunting.com and for more about the new social network go to hunttrophy.com.